and welcome back to the channel. So today, a little bit of something different. I thought that I would take you to a typical Swiss grocery store to see what that looks like here. My husband and I actually really love going to the grocery stores when we travel the world as well, because I think it's the best way to find out more about the culture and the ways of the people who live there locally and see what they eat, what they buy and so on. So I thought that I could make this into a kind of a series. I will also do a similar grocery store vlog from when I go to Finland later this summer. And then once we do start traveling the world again, then maybe I can bring you along when we go to the grocery stores in those travels. So where I'm going today is one of the bigger grocery store chains in Switzerland, which is the co-op. There's also the Migros grocery store chain, but there they don't actually sell any alcohol in those stores. And I wanted to give you a view of what the wine selection and the beers and so on look like in the stores. So that's why I've selected co-op. I'm a little bit nervous because it's very public vlogging that I'm doing today in the store, but I'm hoping that maybe it's not super busy at this time, although it is just before lunch time. Once we go in and once I've kind of showed you around the store, I'll tell you what the biggest differences are that I have noticed in the grocery stores here versus what I've seen in Finland and and the US when I've lived there. But let's go first, take a look what it looks like inside. All right, so I need to keep my mask on here. So I hope you can still hear me. The first thing on my list was um, some berries and vegetables. So let me quickly show you. This particular store has quite a nice um, big vegetable section. I would say not all stores necessarily have something quite this big. It actually overflows to the corridor outside as well. But I need a basket. So, like I said, this is what's indoors in this particular store. I would say it's more the kind of vegetables and so, but I need some berries. So I wanted strawberries and some cherries. So outside here, as you can see, then there's more the like fruits and berries, whereas inside we had the vegetables. And now if we go into the actual store, you first have the bread section. I would say not a huge selection, but always what I need. I love their bagels here. They remind me of the US, which is nice. I'm not getting any of those today, but just wanted to show you this section. Then if we head over here, you can see there's a small section of like pre-prepared salads or pre-cut salads. And then the meat section is here. I would say that this store has quite a limited meat selection. Some stores have a better one, but they do have their own butcher area or like a meat area where you can get custom pieces of meat, which is nice. And then here's the pre-prepared meals section where you have like pizzas that you can pop into the oven and ready-made meals and lunches and so. Then this store is actually made up of two levels. So let's go upstairs. Today was a good day to bring you guys with me because my shopping list is actually very short. So I figured it's a good day to do a little bit of shopping and then filming. All right, so we are now in the wine section and it is big. I mean, if you consider the size of the like meat section in the store, there are multiple rows of wine and just wine. That's not even anything else. So I would say very good selection, quite typical. Then you have the like more hard liquors on this wall here behind me and also a relatively good selection of that as well. I would say living here, prices for wine and beer and alcohol in general is much better than what it is, for example, in Finland. Then behind me there, you see the household section. That's where you have all of the detergents. And if I turn around in front of me again, 
We then have the soda section and the beer and cider and water selection. So just kind of like one aisle long shelf each. And once I turn around here, you will then see the frozen foods. And on the opposite side, you have all of your spices and sauces and canned foods and things like that. That's where I was, the dried foods and the canned foods. And then here's the cosmetic section. And then we loop back around to the household goods, the cleaning supplies, toilet paper, and so on. Now, let me check my shopping list. It's not very long, but I don't want to miss out on anything. All right, so I forgot to pick up oranges. I need to go back for those. Huh? Good thing I have a list, right? Then I need to see if they have this new kind of tonic water, which I saw in another co-op store. I don't know whether they have it here. All right, so back in the soda aisle, and this is what I was looking for. So the raspberry and rhubarb, it sounds absolutely delicious, so I want to give that a try. There we go. Then I need cottage cheese, and that's the dairy section, which we're still going to. And then I need something to grill. So I need to go back to the meat section as well. And of course I couldn't leave out the cheese section. There's always a nice selection of cheeses, but let's take a look what they have for meat, for grilling. Not a great selection. There is some chicken. That might be okay. Quite tiny pieces. They have some sausages for the grill. Alright, so not a great selection. I would say in general in Switzerland we always struggled because with the meat selection because it's not that great. Usually when we do like our weekly grocery store trip, we visit at least two different stores just to get everything that we want. And it looks like that's the case as well. Today I probably need to go pick up my grilled meats from somewhere else, but I need to do grab the cottage cheese. Behind me is the regular cheese section. The cheese section I showed you before was more like specialty cheeses. And then here on the other side, you have the yogurts, cream cheeses, stuff like that. If I turn around once more, here behind me, you see the start of the, the chocolate section. And let me tell you, the meat might be limited, but the chocolate never is. So you have just all of this, with, with, which is just chocolate. I mean, the other candies are more limited, which they're here, like that's the candy aisle, but chocolates are covered. <laughs> Never a shortage of chocolate. So what I think I'll do is I'm gonna go check out the grilled meats from the other store. I'll also pick up the orange from there and then I'll catch up with you when I can talk to you without the mask to give you a little bit of a recap. Okay, so I just came out of the other store. I think that was a very good representation of the challenges that we face in Switzerland because really the meat selection, like I said before, is not so like wide or big here. Um, we really, if we're looking for especially something very specific, we need to be prepared to go to multiple stores to potentially find it. In general, I would say that the grocery stores here in Switzerland tend to be smaller than they are in Finland or in the US. In both Finland and US, you have like these big, big supermarkets, something like Walmart or similar in Finland, like City Market or Prisma, where you really have everything you might want to buy all in one place and the selection is really good. Here, we found that we do need to go to multiple stores. The stores in general are not so big and the products vary a lot depending on which 
store you go to and which chain it belongs to. This is my first time trying to show you a grocery store tour. I have no idea what the footage will look like, but I think it was a good video for me to do because it was really, really in the public. I had to be conscious of the people around me and the people staring at me, which I'm not always so comfortable with, but so far so good. So thanks for joining. If you see this video, I'm glad you watched it and I will see you on the channel next time. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.